so today we like we will cover yeah so in the previous video we had covered this display and layout components so uh, instead of getting started with the other things like data grid or matrix component we'll just step back or we'll just see one concept in uncog uh, where we can see the data which we have stored in the submission so in the previous sessions we had seen in the primary feeds uh, we were capturing the data and also in the hidden component i said like we can store all the data right so here if you see we can store all the data inside this hidden component and i said like we can view that data as well so in this video we can you will see that command which is called as angular command uh, which is used to retrieve this data or like to see that data in the developer in the developer tool so in the browser we can just hit that command and it will show us all the data which is present in the submission uh, so we can see that data right so for that let me just quickly add a text component here so we'll keep it as it is and let me add some other component maybe let's take uh, the component as hidden field so i will just write here as hidden only the label of it and we'll give some value as test value maybe okay so this is the value i have given save and close save so what we do usually is like once we preview this Yeah, so as the data is stored in the variable, right? So that is why we are not able to see on a UI screen, but it is something stored at a backend or in the browser it is stored in a variable. If I write here, we, can, we are able to see that data, right? Whatever data we are writing here. So if we want to see that data, right? So what is that process in Uncock? So what we need to do, right click and open this uh, developer tool and in this we need to go to console so this is the command so you can check this or read more about it in this uh, documentation as well i will just uh, add this link in the video description you can go through that if you want to know in detail so i will just copy this angular command we'll just paste this command here so what is what that command is is angular dot element and in the bracket uh, we are like deciding which class we want to grab which is uncork io form and dot scope and dot submission so if we just hit this command enter on it so here we will see these things right we can see the data we can see the integration error read only and a lot of other stuff so if i just expand the data here what we are able to see is this right so what is this hidden right so this is that same variable which we had uh, configured on the screen so we had created this hidden variable and in inside this we had kept this test value so that is what we are able to see that value here on the screen right hidden is that key and value test value is that value of that key and apart from that text field also is there so here text field is uh, the property id of the text field that we have created so here is a text field so we had given this property id as text field so the same is appearing here uh, yeah here in this tab yeah so the same is appearing here but no, no value we have put here so if i add here some text value okay still i won't be able to see i need to again hit that command and then you will be able to see these things hidden as test value and text field as test value and also just wanted to show you one thing it is not constrained to only one field everything right whatever we capture on the screen that same things uh, we can see in that angular command so let's try it out let's use a signature component here okay and whenever we write here some data whenever we are trying to interact with ui uh, what we will do is like we'll see how that signature is stored in the browser so we'll just add some random thing here and then i will just hit that angular command so what we are able to see is so see this art right this art which i have drawn here i'm just kidding so this random stuff which i have 
given here in the signature component so that thing is stored as an image so here if you see the data so it is the base 64 of that image and the URL is created so let me just try to uh, see this if it is stored as an image I'm just copying that URL and I'm just pasting into the new tab so see that thing is stored as an image so this signature is captured as an image and that image is something stored in the backend so all these things we are able to see in the angular command so why in uncock we say it as an angular command okay so let's I will just tell you one thing so uncork is something which is uh, built on angular okay so this tool is something built on angular at the back end the angular is something framework which is used to create this tool so that is why the interaction or the commands that we use are more inclined towards the angular framework so that is why we say it is an angular command so that is why we can see here is angular and all this command so if you know angular you can Get these things in more detail but yeah, this is something the angular command uh, so i just tried on chat gpt like how to read this command right even i was not having a knowledge of angular but why to worry about it right we have a chat gpt we can just press that thing we can just send it as a prompt and just check what is that exact angular command right so what is that let's see so this is what chat gpt is saying okay so this is something the code provided appears to be using angular js not angular okay so angular js is the latest version sorry angular js is the latest version and current version is angular so this command command is of angular js and they have splitted or divided this command into different parts and explained that so angular dot element it's a jquery and glide function in angular js so this all thing they have explained here so you can just quickly take a screenshot or just pause the video see that if not just put this command take ask chat gpt what is that it will give you a detailed explanation about angular command so yeah whenever you are learning something new just like this command so now we don't need to spend much time in just trying to explore other things right or other documentation if any minor doubt you have just put it in a chat gpt it will give you a clear understanding so in this way on a fly or on a real time you will get that understanding about it what we are learning and what is the exact use of it so in this way you can learn or like you can gain your knowledge in a perfect way okay so i think that's it from the angular command so if anyone is from angular background if they know in detail they can just put these things in command like what is this command and maybe our audience will know in detail what is this angular command and few of might get more interested in angular also so they might learn or start learning angular as well in future so that's it for the today video so we'll see you next time in the further videos as we continue to learn on cock thank you guys